Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We are going to be using this paper by Fabriano. It is watercolor paper and it is 90 pound. We're going to be using this for two reasons, for our watercolor as well as to cut out these silhouette designs using my silhouette cameo. Now it's optional to do these. I think that you could hand draw a butterfly pretty easily, but I was using this for another project and went ahead and cut a few extra ones for this project, which is the anatomy of a butterfly. The first thing I'm going to do is outline both silhouettes. I just recommend putting them a little bit farther apart than the way I had them. I'm also going to add some of the other details that were not in the cutout. Now it's time to pull in our ink supplies. I'm using Distress inks for this project. I love Distress inks. They are really beautiful, vibrant, and easy to blend. I'm using my blender tool in order to fill it in. You can see that I'm not being super careful. I'm going outside the line and that's okay because at the end of this project, we're going to outline it with a black and all of those little smudges aren't going to show anyway. So I've got some yellows, oranges, and reds. I've got all of those colors listed down in the description box below for you. And now I'm gonna work on this side profile one as well. It's gonna look just the same. I love these colors. They're so beautiful. Once we're done, we're going to actually blend them with some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. This is gonna give a nice iridescent look to these wings. It's also going to very gently blend those colors together. You do wanna be careful and keep those colors separate. So I'm being really careful as I draw my paintbrush from one side to the other. And then when I'm doing the bottom part which is all basically one color I can be a little bit more even. Now while that dries I'm going to go ahead and outline my title using my sharpie marker and my copic marker and this is just going to give it a nice formal look to our project. Next we're going to use our distress sprays in black. You could use your distress inks as well but I happen to have the spray and that's going to work just as well in order to do the body and the antennas and the legs and all the other details. Now my drawing is not completely dry at this point so I'm doing all the things that don't touch the wings and once it dries completely then you can work on the inside of the wings. So I'm just being very careful to outline it at this point and I'm going to go ahead and do the other butterfly as well. I love the way the black really brings all of this together. It really kind of draws your eyes to the beautiful vibrant colors in the middle. All right, so now it's time to work on all of the veins and you can see how easily this comes together. I did use a couple of books as references, but when my kids did this, they did this a little bit more freehand and I think that it turned out just as well in the end. So you don't have to be worried about being too accurate for doing all the veins. It really sets it apart from the rest of the page. All right, so now it's time to label everything and I'm using Nature Anatomy to help me out with this. This is page 71 and this is the anatomy of a butterfly. Now this is where the two drawings were a little bit too close together because I didn't have quite enough room to label all of those pieces. So when I did my son's outline, I did separate them a little bit more so that he had a little bit more room in order to write all of these different parts. Now some of them are repeated on both drawings and that's fine. I think it's nice to see what they look like both in the flat as well as the side profile for the butterfly. So I went ahead and I labeled everything that was in the book and one thing that I did not do was give a description of each but that is also an option if you want to add a little bit more education to this project. The last thing I'm going to do is add some white details using some correction ink. You could also use white acrylic paint for this, but this is what I happen to have on, on hand. And I think that it adds that really nice final touch to the project and really makes it look like a monarch butterfly. All right, so here are my kids working on this same project. This was a really fun, artistic, and educational project to do. My 11-year-old went ahead and labeled all of his with the correct anatomy. My daughter just drew hers. If you want to see some of the other projects we're doing for this Butterflies unit, you can tap on the screen right now. And don't forget that you can see what we're up to on a daily basis by finding me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.